Nice run with the musician news. We're at NAM 2012, the winter NAM in Anaheim, and we're at the radio booth, and I'm with Rick Fiera Bracci. Fiera Bracci, yes, right. and he's a bass player, but he's doing. He's going to show us uh, some of their new gear. Their yeah, I'm going to start with the Firefly, and uh, it's a tube DI. And what's great about it is that it has a very high impedance. So if you play piezo pickups or passive pickups like the 62 reissue, passive, you, you're going to get a lot of. Uh, you're not going to get any drag on your instrument. You know. A lot of sustain. You can see even if I move the pickups here, there's not a lot of drag. Usually with a, a jazz bass, it'll drop. The volume will drop immensely. So very nice. And that's variable here as well. You can vary it from 10K to 1 meg. If you play a Strat or, or another instrument, you want the sound and feel slightly different. Um, this is a high pass, so if you play acoustic guitar or banjo or something and you want to get rid of the low end, you can do that. You have two different volumes um, for two different inputs. It's made for any instrument, any instrument, yeah, any instrument. Guitar, violin, cello, whatever you want. If you play bass and you double on mandolin, you can do that. And you have two inputs, and you can foot switchably change to what instrument you want. Also, you can mute here. And the pedal is self-powered from the unit. So you don't have to worry about AC or batteries or anything. Nice, yeah. A TRS uh, cable uh, connects that. If you break it, you just change it out. The back is really interesting. You have a separate out that you send to an amp. And that separate out, you can shut off the tube or leave it on. So if you have your favorite Ampeg flip top B15, you can keep the tube sound. Uh, the way it was meant to be without the tube hitting it first, or you can put the tube to it to a solid state amp or, or to an SVT, whatever you want to do. Effects loop, you have tuner out, you have a phase switch and a ground lift. So everything that you need basically. You can get rid of the handle, you can put it in one rack space, you can put two side by side, so you can have two of these units. That's four inputs in one rack space. Ah, okay. Really, really nice, and it's nice that you don't knock off the knobs in the front here, somebody steps on it. That's a great unit. Sounds great, really creamy. A lot of different sounds out of it. A lot of fun, and a lot of headroom. This is a powered speaker here yep. then, huh? So you can go straight out of that into a powered speaker, Yep, huh? yep, okay. it has, it's, it's a DI, but it has a lot of output. You can really go crazy with this. It can drive a lot of different things. Wow. Another great unit that so far everyone's been really, really happy and excited about is this Coil Inductor EQ. You have three different bands. It's it kind of like the Pultec or Fairchild kind of concept. There's 12, it's a rotary switch, clickable. It has 12 different EQ settings already. And each band has those 12 different rotary EQ settings. But they, they interact, so if I move this to there, this changes. If I go like that, this is a different frequency now. If I go like that, this is a different frequency. And you also have a little 3 dB switch over here as well. This is a passive EQ, so it's very powerful and very quiet, and you'll see what I mean right now. I'll, I'll kind of do an A, B for you. I'm going to go into the um, JDV, which is just the, the, the tubeless version of this. It's a mic pre, and it uh, has everything that you need, XLR in the back. So this is the sound of this just by itself. Sounds like a jazz bass, right? But now I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this on a setting that I, I think I know and see how it sounds. Now this is engaged. Here it is off. Here it's on. So you have a, an immense amount of high end. I don't know if your mic can pick it up, but if I bypass this and click it on, it is incredibly quiet, and I'm probably pushing 10K, like 15 dB. You can't do that with a lot of other things, because it's passive. That's why you can get away with it. Very sensitive, too. If I play a note here, and if I move this, oh, I don't have it on, excuse me, here we go. If I play a note and move this knob, you can see how many different variations you can get. A lot of different stuff. amount of low end, totally quiet, beautiful sounding instrument, in the 500 series. All right. 
That's yeah. That's very any questions, nice. Ron? No, that's yeah. Thanks a lot, Rick. Yeah, that's some nice equipment there. And the name? How much will that be? The price of that? Uh, the list is eight hundred uh, or seven ninety nine. I think the street is six ninety nine. Uh huh. And by the way, the workhorse uh, won the tech award two two nights ago. Oh, okay. It's a beautiful it unit, and they also make this in one rack space, so you could put three different units in here into one rack space. Okay. And the Firefly is the price on that? Do you know? Firefly is six ninety nine list uh, five ninety nine street. Okay. And they're both available now. They're both available now. All These right. are the two newest products we uh, that Radio has. Cool. Thanks, Rick. Nice meeting you, Ron. Great show.